Just before the horses take off, the Yarmouth race course is a buzz. Most people have planned to come here today for some time. Glenn Tubby manages the course and the thousands of spectators that venture out for a race, a tourist attraction rooted in tradition. For many in Britain, a weekend at the race course is a popular choice for a day off. The horse racing started in Great Yarmouth in 1715, so we're coming up to a three year, 300 year anniversary. Um, originally it was in a different location to where we are now, but horse racing has been on this site since after the First World War, which is about 1920 we started racing here. Um, so you can imagine um, it's very much a historic and cultural thing. Most visitors at the race course are loyal guests who are passionate about the sport. But Tubby says business has taken a significant hit over the years as fewer people choose to vacation at the British seaside. I think going back into my, my early youth, back into the 70s, um, the industry was very, very busy. Through the 80s and 90s, it did decline. Thank you, madam. To boost visitor numbers, Tubby is trying to hook a younger audience into horse racing. We're very much trying to bring in new people into horse racing all the time because there is a there is a natural churn after all. So um, for every pe every person who may not like racing anymore, or unfortunately may pass away, we need to find the future and the youngsters and uh, bring new people into the industry. The high stakes, high energy environment draws people in, Tubby says, but social media makes bringing them back no easy feat. <laughs> <laughs> We're very mindful about what people's experience is when they come to our facilities and also who they share that with. So, um, yeah, definitely I do think people expect more now and they're comparing us with other facilities uh, really instantly on um, social network sites. The Great Yarmouth Race Course is located far from Yarmouth's main attractions, the sandy beaches and gambling halls. Tubby says it's the loyalty from customers that will help keep the course alive. Great Yarmouth, as a, as a, as a local um, authority, has invested quite heavily in the seafront attraction, so I do think things are changing.